What should you do before slowing down or stopping your vehicle? Sound the horn. Use the mirrors. Select a higher gear. Flash the headlights. Why should you switch your headlights on when it first starts to get dark? To make your dials easier to see. So others can see you more easily. So that you blend in with other drivers. Because the street lights are lit. What should you do when you're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time? Accelerate hard. Maintain your speed. Be ready to stop. Brake hard. What does the term blind spot mean? An area covered by your right hand mirror. An area not covered by your headlights. An area covered by your left hand mirror. An area not visible to the driver. How can you make sure that a satellite navigation, sat nav, system doesn't distract you when you're driving? Turn it off while you're driving in built up areas. Choose a voice that you find calming. Only set the destination when you're lost. Set it before starting your journey. You're following a large vehicle. Why should you stay a safe distance behind it? You'll be able to corner more quickly. You'll help the large vehicle to stop more easily. You'll give the driver a chance to see you in their mirrors. You'll keep out of the wind better. You're turning right onto a dual carriage way. What should you do before emerging? Stop, apply the parking brake and then select a low gear. Position your vehicle well to the left of the side road. Check that the central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle. Make sure that you leave enough room for a vehicle behind. There are objects hanging from your interior mirror. Why could this be a hazard? Your view could be obstructed. Your sun visor might get tangled. Your radio reception might be affected. Your windscreen could mess up more easily. You're driving your car. When may you use a handheld mobile phone? When you're receiving a call. When you've parked safely. When you're driving at less than 30 miles per hour. When your car has automatic transmission. Why are these yellow lines painted across the road? To help you choose the correct lane. To help you keep the correct separation distance. To make you aware of your speed. To tell you the distance to the roundabout. You're waiting to turn right at the end of a road. What should you do if your view is obstructed by parked vehicles? Stop and then move forward slowly and carefully for a clear view. Move quickly to where you can see so you only block traffic from one direction. Wait for a pedestrian to let you know when it's safe for you to emerge. Turn your vehicle around immediately and find another junction to use.
what should you do before making a U-turn? Give an arm signal as well as using your indicators. Check road markings to see that U-turns are permitted. Look over your shoulder for a final check. Select a higher gear than normal. You're traveling along this road. How should you pass this cyclist? Sound your horn as you pass. Keep close to them as you pass. Leave them plenty of room as you pass. Change down one gear before you pass. You're on a long motorway journey. What should you do if you start to feel sleepy? Play some loud music. Stop on the hard shoulder for a rest. Drive faster to complete your journey sooner. Leave the motorway and stop in a safe place. Why should you use your mirrors when you see a hazard ahead? Because you'll need to accelerate out of danger. To assess how your actions will affect the traffic behind. Because you'll need to brake sharply and stop. To check what's happening on the road ahead. What should you do if your mobile phone rings while you're driving or riding? Stop immediately. Answer it immediately. Leave it until you have stopped in a safe place. Pull up at the nearest curb. What should you do when you move off from behind a parked car? Give a signal after moving off. Look around before moving off. Look around after moving off. Use the exterior mirrors only. When do windscreen pillars cause a serious obstruction to your view? When you're driving on a motorway. When you're driving on a dual carriage way. When you're approaching a one-way street. When you're approaching bends and junctions. What does this curved arrow road marking mean? Heavy vehicles should take the next road on the left to avoid a weight limit. The road ahead bends to the left. Overtaking traffic should move back to the left. The road ahead has a camber to the left. You're driving on a wet road. What should you do if you have to stop your vehicle in an emergency? Apply the parking brake and foot brake together. Keep both hands on the steering wheel. Select reverse gear. Give an arm signal. You're waiting to emerge from a junction. The windscreen pillar is restricting your view. What should you be particularly aware of? Lorries. Buses. Motorcyclists. Coaches. What's most likely to distract you while you're driving? Using a mobile phone. Using the windscreen wipers. Using the demisters. Using the mirrors. What should you do before slowing down or stopping your vehicle? Sound the horn. Use the mirrors. Select a higher gear. Flash the headlights. What's likely to happen if you use a hands-free phone while you're driving? It will improve your safety. It will increase your concentration. It will reduce your view. It will divert your attention. What should you do if you can't see clearly behind when you're reversing? Open the window to look behind. Open the door to look behind. Look in the near side mirror. 
Ask someone to guide you. Where should you avoid overtaking? Just after a bend. In a one-way street. On a 30 mile per hour road. Approaching a dip in the road. What should you do as you approach this bridge? Move to the right. Slow down. Change gear. Keep to 30 miles per hour.